Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to monitor links with the help of uh, Link Assistant. So first off, you need to obviously install the software. Uh, you can either purchase it right away or just uh, download a free trial. Uh, the only problem with the free trial is that uh, you will not be able to see your, uh, your reports. So, uh, once it's installed, you need to uh, create a new project. In order to do that, you can just go to a uh, File and select New Project. Alternatively, you can just uh, click uh, on this um, option right in the middle. So I'm clicking here. Now, you need to specify the uh, URL of your website. That done, just click the Next button. And uh, now, uh, Link Assistant is going to get uh, all sorts of uh, um, info about your site. You can specify the anchor text that you want to be used for, for your site, for your project. Uh, or just use the one that um, uh, anchor uh, the one that uh, link got for you from test.com. The same goes true for description. You can uh, either use the description that link assistant got for you from the site or specify your own. Then uh, click next again. At this point, you can specify your name, say John Doe, and your contact email. Say John Doe, John dot Doe at tense.com. Then click finish. Now you've just created a brand new project. Now you want to add links that you want to keep track of. So in order to do that, you can just go to uh, Edit Link Partners and click Add Link Partner, or you can just click the Add option. Now you need to specify the domain of the site that contains your link. Let's say HTTP slash slash uh, www partner I don't know partner partner just partner partner.com in the link type drop down make sure that you have text link it means that you're keeping track of a um, uh, text link rather than an image link which is a banner so keep text link here now specify the um, anchor text let's say it's gonna be my link or better yet mm, I don't know test.com for example in the description text field in this large one you can specify uh, how you got that link for example you might have created a guest post on the site on, on the partner.com site or you may have just purchase the link and stuff like that. So just specify why you got it. I'm gonna say that um, I got it for a guest post. Then click Next. Now, here you need to specify the exact URL to the page, not just the domain, but the page that contains your link. For example, it's gonna be HTTP column slash slash www partner um, dot com slash my guest post HTML or something like that. So this is the exact absolute path to uh, the page to the post that contains my backlink. Now click next. Now link assistant is gonna collect all, all sorts of uh, info about um, this backlink. If Link Detox has not found the name of the um, site that um, you have a backlink from, you can specify it manually. Say Jess. And, and her email can be Jess at Doe at partner.com. Something along those lines. Now click Next. Here you can um, select the category where uh, you want to put this uh, backlink into. It'll help you to handle it uh, more conveniently down the road. Also, we can specify the status of the um, of the link. For example, uh, fill, fill link request for um, first link request mail sent and stuff like that. So you'll know <coughs> um, what page you are on with this link partner. Okay. And also, you can uh, add this uh, link partner to your directory if you want to host one on your server, on your domain. 
Uh, I would not really recommend doing that because you, you will most likely be frowned upon by Google, so just ignore this option. Okay, now click Finish, and here's your link. Right click on it, and click Verify Partners, and select Scan Only Current Page. So if you tick Scan Only Current Page, Link Assistant will uh, find your backlink way faster and analyze and, and see what's wrong with it. So it's gonna check if uh, your link is there, if it has the correct anchor text, and if it's do follow or no follow. Now click Next. And now I do wait just a bit while it's uh, uh, verifying your backlink. Sure thing, it's not there in my case because it's, it was a dummy. <laughs> domain name, dummy URL, dummy link, and the parameters of the link were just dummy. That's why I um, uh, don't have it in reality. Now click Next. I'm just clicking Finish. Now I go to the uh, Workspaces drop-down and select Only Verified Partners. So if uh, the link were verified successfully, it would be right here. But in my case, it's not. So that's in a nutshell how you can use um, Link Assistant in order to check your, to verify uh, and monitor your backlinks. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask them in the comments. And uh, thanks for your time. Have a great day.